three, two, one. Lift off. Welcome to this journey to the limits of the universe. I will be your virtual flight attendant. I will explain what we will see along the way. We are slowly leaving New York below. We can see almost the entire island of Manhattan. This altitude is common for commercial airlines. In a few moments we will exceed the speed of sound. At this altitude we can appreciate the curvature of the Earth. Little by little we leave the atmosphere behind and begin to witness the darkness of space. In a few moments, we will begin separation and activate the ship's engine and start accelerating. The Moon is Earth's only natural satellite. It is the fifth largest satellite in the solar system and the largest and most massive relative to its parent planet, with a diameter about one quarter that of Earth. The Moon is a planetary mass object with a differentiated rocky body, making it a satellite planet under the geophysical definitions of the term and larger than all known dwarf planets of the solar system. The solar system is the gravitationally bound system of the Sun and the objects that orbit it. It formed 4.6 billion years ago from the gravitational collapse of a giant interstellar molecular cloud. The vast majority, 99.86%, of the system's mass is in the Sun, with most of the remaining mass contained in the planet Jupiter. The planetary system around the Sun contains eight planets, the four inner system planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars, are terrestrial planets, being composed primarily of rock and metal. The four giant planets of the outer system are substantially larger and more massive than the terrestrials, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. All eight planets have nearly circular orbits that lie near the plane of Earth's orbit, called the ecliptic.
The Kuiper Belt is a circumstellar disk in the outer solar system, extending from the orbit of Neptune at 30 astronomical units to approximately 50 from the Sun. It is similar to the asteroid belt, but is far larger, 20 times as wide and 20 to 200 times as massive, like the asteroid belt. It consists mainly of small bodies or remnants from when the solar system formed. The Kuiper Belt is home to most of the objects that astronomers generally accept as dwarf planets, Orcus, Pluto, Haumea, Guauar, and Makimaki. Some of the solar system's moons, such as Neptune's Triton and Saturn's Phoebe, may have originated in the region. The heliopause is the theoretical boundary where the sun's solar wind is stopped by the interstellar medium, where the solar wind's strength is no longer great enough to push back the stellar winds of the surrounding star. This is the boundary where the interstellar medium and solar wind pressures balance. The Oort cloud as a theoretical concept of a cloud of predominantly icy planetesimals proposed to surround the Sun at distances ranging from 2,000 to 200,000 astronomical units. These regions lie beyond the heliosphere and are in interstellar space. Centauri is a triple star system in the southern constellation of Centaurus. It consists of three stars, Rigel Cantorus, Alpha Centauri A, Toyelemon, B, and Proxima Centauri, C. Proxima Centauri is also the closest star to the Sun at 4.2 light-years. Alpha Centauri A and B are Sun-like stars, and together they form the binary star system Alpha Centauri AB. Proxima Centauri is a small faint red dwarf. Currently, the distance between Proxima Centauri and Alpha Centauri AB is about 13,000 astronomical units, equivalent to about 430 times the radius of Neptune's orbit. The local interstellar cloud, also known as the local fluff, is an interstellar cloud roughly 30 light years across through which the solar system is moving. The local bubble or local cavity, is a relative cavity in the interstellar medium of the Orion arm in the Milky Way. It contains the closest of celestial neighbors and among others, the local interstellar cloud, the neighboring G cloud, the Ursa major moving group and the Hyades. It is estimated to be at least 1,000 light years in size. The Orion Arm is a minor spiral arm of the Milky Way galaxy that is 3,500 light years across and approximately 10,000 light years in length, containing the solar system. Some of the brightest stars and most famous celestial objects of the constellation, for example Betelgeuse, Rigel, the three stars of Orion's belt, the Orion Nebula, are within it.
The Milky Way is a barred spiral galaxy estimated at 90,000 light years. It is estimated to contain 100 to 400 billion stars and at least that number of planets. The solar system is located at a radius of about 27,000 light years from the galactic center. The galactic center is an intense radio source known as Sagittarius A, a supermassive black hole of 4,100 million solar masses. The Andromeda Galaxy is a barred spiral galaxy with a diameter of about 152,000 light years, approximately 2.5 million light years from Earth, and is the closest large galaxy to the Milky Way. The local group is the galaxy group that includes the Milky Way. The exact number of galaxies in the local group is unknown as some are occluded by the Milky Way. However, at least 80 members are known, most of which are dwarf galaxies. Kea is the galaxy supercluster that is home to the Milky Way and approximately 100,000 other nearby galaxies. The name Longya Kea means immense heaven in Hawaiian. The Pisces Cebus supercluster complex is a galaxy filament, is estimated to be about 1 billion light years long. It is one of the largest structures known in the observable universe. The observable universe is a ball-shaped region of the universe comprising all matter that can be observed from Earth or its space-based telescopes and exploratory probes at the present time, because the electromagnetic radiation from these objects has had time to reach the solar system and Earth since the beginning of the cosmological expansion, there may be two trillion galaxies in the observable universe although that number was reduced in 2021 to only several hundred billion based on data from New Horizons. Assuming the universe is isotropic, the distance to the edge of the observable universe is roughly the same in every direction. That is, the observable universe is a spherical region centered on the observer. Every location in the universe has its own observable universe, which may or may not overlap with the one centered on Earth. Beyond this limit is unknown, we don't know if there are more stars and galaxies out there, so our journey ends here. Thanks for staying until the end, here I show you other interesting videos.